Hello everyone. Uh, today I wanted to show you how I connected the um, the touch screen, the seven inch touch screen, touch screen to the Manta board, which has the CB1 installed. So this touch screen, it's actually multi-touch, has two uh, cables that come out. The one is HDMI here, HDMI, and then a micro USB. Uh, I wish I had they had the USB Type C, but uh, that's what they picked. Um, and this cable they go to the Manta board. The USB goes here, and the the, the HDMI with the, an adapter goes to the mini HDMI on the Manta board. Here I have my. USB Type-C power cable which needs to have a jumper in the back here set to be able to uh, power the board through USB-C of course I don't have anything attached no power, no drivers, no sensor or nothing okay so I will have errors and I won't be able to see all the details of uh, the board on the web interface, the fluid interface or the other one and I have Ethernet so let me boot up so I turn on the power through USB here is the screen uh, is a 7 inch uh, multi-touch so now it's booting um, it takes uh, a bit to boot uh, maybe a minute or so, maybe less, depending on uh, on the CB1. I see that uh, there is a Ethernet uh, activity. In. Okay, almost there. It should be there now. I say activity on the CB1 LED, and there is. So this clipper, of course, I have errors because the configuration file are not uh, full of all the options, since I don't have drivers and probes and sensors and all that kind of stuff. But everything, everything works fine. Bunch of options, of course. The screen is pretty responsive. Uh, system info. I don't understand why it says up to date, but for example, for Clipper screen and Crown Nest, they don't show the version. Here they show the version. I'm on the latest uh, Clipper. Uh, Main two three one move ranker doesn't doesn't show and system doesn't show the the version there are some things still you know you can do a full update upgrade or update uh, the you can shut down restart you can do everything from here uh, you can restart the firmware if you recompile it and merge and stop and all that kind of stuff so it's pretty works pretty good uh, So, well, there's not much I can say since I don't have options to be able to play with it. But it worked uh, plug and play, basically. I had the uh, Clipper screen uh, installed. Uh, you can see the, um, the video that I did with installation on the OS. And I just plugged the cables, uh, did a boot, and that's it. So I didn't have any issues, and this this um, screen is a seven inches again, 
and it's a multi-touch and uh, I paid only $34, I think $34 or $36. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in buying it. And that's it. Please leave a like if you like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have more videos uh, uh, building the big 3D printer with the dual uh, pallet extruders and uh, leave a comment if you have any and I'll see you next video bye bye